Hey there guys, Tim here from Canada Tech TV. So what I wanted to share with you guys today is during one of my recent projector reviews, I kind of had some struggles with the manual keystone correction and kind of setting up the picture. So I figured it'd be possibly a good learning experience for some of you and uh, to just kind of share with you why exactly I don't recommend using that manual keystone correction when at all possible. So one of the things I always say is try not to use it. Try to get your picture set up as straight on as possible to where you're not projecting at an angle because the minute you start touching that keystone correction, typically your focus kind of gets messed up. Let's jump over here to some of the footage and I'm gonna show you, you'll see live kind of as I was setting this up, what exactly happened and I'll kind of show you here. So you can see I have it set up here in the middle of the room on my tripod. I'll say this one has been a bit of a hassle actually like setting up on here. It's been very hard to, to get a level screen with this one. Um, so you're, you know, once you get it set up and if you leave it up there, you'll be fine. But Here's a little close up. And this is like the quality up close. You can see, you know, some of the pixelation happening. But yeah, I mean, that's the 720p native. So not bad. And then usually for text and everything, honestly, that 720p usually does a pretty good job. So you can see, let me show you real quick. One of the big issues I have with this projector is see how this is not straight. So that is because it is not level. So you're gonna get that when your projector is not completely level. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to use your keystone correction on the projector here. Let me show you here. See, that'll kind of fix it. But basically when you have to refocus then, usually some part of your picture is gonna be out of focus. Like right now, the bottom is kind of focused in but now the top is pretty out of focus. See how blurry the my stuff is up here? So that is why I do not like using keystone correction because it typically messes up your picture more than it really helps it. So that's why I'd say if you could get this thing level and not have to worry about you know messing with it too much, that's typically the best bet. You're gonna have spots where you know in the center here, Center looks pretty good. And uh, over here is pretty blurry. So this corner is very, very bad. But then over here it's, it's good and it's in focus. So that's typically what happens in this budget range. So try to stay away from that keystone as much as you can. All right guys, but yeah, so you can kind of see, hopefully that gives you a good visualization of like why when I say try not to use that manual keystone correction, kind of why that is exactly. The electronic keystone correction on a lot of devices and some of the newer models and some of those like more portable projector options that I've reviewed tend to work a lot better and you know, you don't get that blurriness around the edges or in the corners and stuff. A lot of these budget ones just kind of go into it knowing that if you're buying a budget projector, projector like this, really be able to put it up on a stand or kind of raise it up as you need to. But if you're going to be projecting upward or, you know, kind of at a greater downward angle, you're going to have a little bit of issues with getting everything truly focused. You're either going to have to deal with the picture being not completely rectangular, or if you do use that keystone, then you're going to lose the focus most likely in part of the picture. So guys, I have a whole budget projector playlist where I review a bunch of these projectors. I have a tips and tricks and kind of just general advice playlist as well. So that's probably where you're going to find this video. So if you want some more advice and different terms and stuff broken down in the projector space, definitely check that out. But thank you guys for watching with me here today. Hit that subscribe button if you like this kind of content and drop a like if this video is helpful. And until then, guys, I'll see you on the next one.